University Union's annual Bandersnatch concert is Friday. This year's lineup features Coffee Duckworth and a student performer named Troy Spitones. Unpeeled Music reporter Patrick Gunn sits down with University Union to discuss what we can expect from this year's show. Pat? Thanks, Carrie. And you're here with people from University Union who are setting up this great concert banner snatch. We got Noah Getzig and we got Mackenzie Globitz. So, a little bit of pronunciation with the name there, but the, what's really not to be mispronounced is this year's concert. What can you guys tell us about the lineup this year? So, this year we have Coffee, who is a 19 year old reggae Afrobeat singer. Um, we have Duckworth, who is a really cool songwriter and performer. And we have Troy Spitonas, who is a Syracuse student and a DJ. What's it like to have a student coming out here and performing in the concert? It's amazing. It's, it's you know, every opportunity we can get, we love to highlight the, the talent on campus. And this year, we found a really talented DJ who's been uh, on the party circuit, and he's really popular, so we're really excited to have him. Yeah, it's great to have something like that as a DJ. But you guys, yeah. also this year, you have a performer in Coffee who's been featured by Barack Obama on his playlist, yeah. and his music was in the soundtrack for the Jordan Peele movie, Us. What's it like to have him here? So for Coffee being on Obama's playlist and Duckworth being featured in the movie, it was, it's just like, it's amazing and it's an honor to have people on campus who have been internationally um, recognized. It's what, really cool. What kind of like um, a stat lure does that bring to, band, to this event? I mean, hopefully people can recognize that we're doing our best to bring these critically acclaimed artists to campus and we're really excited that they're up and coming and, and just cool acts to see live. And the performance, the live aspect is important to this. So what does this event offer than other events in years past? Um, so this year we're really excited because we feel like we don't really want it to be just, you know, go to the show and stand there and listen to music. We want it to be a big, like, dance party. We just want people to have fun and come on a Friday night. That's yeah. good, absolutely. That's wild. We're, we're a better place to be on Friday night than at a concert, right? right. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, so you guys are also doing something a little bit different to help promote the show. What are you guys doing with the playlist? Right, so we um, actually, for this show, curated a playlist of the artist's music so people can kind of listen beforehand, get familiar, because it's always better at a concert when you know who you're seeing. Um, so it's up on our Spotify, and it's a great way to get familiar with the artists. And what the name of the playlist is uh, Bandersnatch? Yeah. I think it's Bandersnatch 19. Okay, and uh, what, what kind of songs can they expect to see on there? A lot of Coffee's best hits. Um, I mean, as Noah said, she's a crazy rapper, reggae artist, and literally everything. Same with Duckworth. Um, you can see all their best hits, including Duckworth's song that was on the Spider-Man soundtrack and Coffee's like first album she released. So it's really a whole spectrum of music. That Spider-Man soundtrack is one of my personal it's crazy. favorites. It's I can phenomenal. listen to that any day of the week. Exactly. So, and uh, what? What can Bandersnatch do for University Union as a whole moving forward with these events? Yeah, for sure. Um, we love Bandersnatch because it's our chance to kind of like as opposed to Juice Jam. Juice Jam is kind of this massive large scale festival. In um, Bandersnatch we get to highlight more up and coming acts in a more intimate setting in Goldstein. Um, so it's a great way for us to bring artists that are kind of under the radar that students are just starting to love or are going to love in a few months. Where, where do you, so you think these new art artists are going to be like huge hits on campus after this event? Hopefully, that's what we hope for. I mean, that's what we predict. <laughs> They're going to be huge hits in the world. Exactly. They, they've already proven that, so we're really excited to have yeah. them here. What you, uh, th and what logistics, what can you tell us about what getting tickets, when it starts? Yeah, mm -hmm. so the show is this Friday night, Goldstein Auditorium. Uh, tickets are on sale at boxoffice.syr.edu. $5 for students, $10 for staff, and $15 for the public at the Women's Box Office. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, Carrie, back to you.